First Gary, what's going on? Mr. Hunter here with your language and phonics uh, homework today. Um, just want to jump right in, y'all. I'll start you off with the, uh, the worksheet that you're going to be doing, pages 31 and 32. I'm going to share my screen so you guys can see exactly uh, what it is that we're doing. Okay, so when you see your screen here, it says this, and I hope everybody can see without an issue. All right, on page 31, it says, fix it up. And that's with an exclamation point. So everybody say, fix it up. It says, don't forget to use capitals, spaces, and an ending punctuation. So guys, look at this. Look at the first sentence. It says, this is my favorite. So you see how all the words are jumbled up like this? We need to make it so it is a, a correct sentence. So Dylan, Eliana, Jeremiah, Sam, what you're going to do is you're going to rewrite it. But you see what they did. They wrote it again. And guess what? This, put a space, is, put a space, my favorite. And then, oh, that's an exclamation point. So what do we have to do here? Well, this is the beginning of a sentence. So this first letter needs to be capitalized. So they capitalize it. So that's a capital letter. Then they made sure there was a space. And then another space, another space. They had to fix up the whole sentence. And when we say fix it up, what we're talking about doing, we're fixing up the scrambled sentences. They're all mushed together. There's no capitals. There's no period. There's no exclamation point. If there's a question, you need to put a question mark. So you see the picture. The boy's eating a sandwich. This is my favorite. He's excited. So that's an exclamatory sentence. So this, spread it out, is my favorite. Put an exclamation point and capitalize it. The next one, what does this say? Jeremiah? Cool song, Max. Hmm, okay. So cool song, Max. So Max is listening um, to the song. So what do we need to do? We need to spread out the words first. Cool song, Max. Is he excited when he's saying that? Is he sad? Is it just a regular statement? And then what letter needs to cap be capitalized? Always the first letter, okay? Look at this one. How do you spell it? Mm, she's in school. She doesn't know how to spell it. So she's asking, how do you spell it? So we need to spread this out, write the words there on the, on the line, make sure it's nice and neat, just like you've been doing for your other, um, other lessons. And are we gonna put a question mark? Are we gonna put an exclamatory mark? Exclamation mark. We're gonna put a question mark. It's a, it's a question. How do you spell it? So we need to write this down. Again, make sure it has the proper space, okay? So you're gonna fix this entire sentence right here. Make sure it has the space, make sure it has the proper um, punctuation and you need to capitalize whatever needs to be capitalized. Please use so. You do the same thing here. And then what is in here, okay? All you're doing, everybody, I hope you understand. All you're doing is fixing these sentences. They're all mushed together. You need to write them over on the blanks and make sure they're spread out and then put the proper punctuation on the end, okay? That's what you're doing on page 31. I think that's a great activity, a great exercise. Can't wait to see your worksheets and when you turn them in. All right, looking at page 32. All right, we are working on the letter formation of lips. I said lips, I said the word L, L. Lip starts with L. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna trace again, all right here, all this whole row, you're gonna trace one, then you write them over and over, and then you do the L there. You're gonna color the pictures that start with L. So look at all these pictures and see which one starts with L. Then you have leg, lips, like I said, locks, lamp, and then she licked it, ice cream cone. Okay, so what do you have to do? You have to write it over just like you've been doing. You guys have been doing a great job with this, Dylan. Really love what, what I'm seeing from you, Jeremiah, Sam, always. Um, also, Eliana, great job. But I need you guys to really, really, really focus on letter formation, taking your time, okay? You have she licked it, locks, lamp, lips, leg, color the pictures, and then on the tracing of L. And then up here, you have the questions that you're gonna ask, okay? That's what you're doing for your language worksheet, all right? But that's not all. All right, I want you guys to take a look at my board that I'm gonna share with you guys, all right? Here's my whiteboard. Now, I want you guys to look at this. This is some cool homework, all right? You have a verb word box. It says a verb, and I'm gonna highlight it, all right? A verb shows an action or a state of being. So I want you to say all these words. Wake, laugh, sit, paint, ride, play, brush, hold, think, climb, smile, wish, eat, get. Say all these words. I'm not gonna say them all for you. I was getting in the trance there, just saying everything. But what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna say all the words, say them out loud, and then here, it says write three or more verbs that you will do today. So you can look at this box here, and you just write three of them down that you're gonna be doing, okay? Now, what are you gonna be doing? And you can pause the video here so you can stay on this page and see it, because I'm, I'm gonna get out of it in a second. 
But what three verbs are you going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to wake. I woke up. I'm going to eat. And I'm going to brush. I brush my teeth. I'm going to eat something. And I'm going to wake up. That's what I did. I'm talking to you now. So that's what you're doing for number one. Then on number two and three, I don't know why this got mixed over here. I'm sorry. But solve the riddle with a word from above. So this one is for two and three. So on number two, it says, I am something you do to your hair and your teeth. What verb am I? So you have to look in here. You have to look in the word box and say, hmm, I am something you do to your hair and teeth. What am I? What do you do to your hair and your teeth? What verb am I? Think about that. Then on number three, it says, I am something you can only do with your eyes closed. What verb am I? Think about it. What is something you can only do with your eyes closed? What verb is in this box? All right. I want you guys to try that out. Really cool exercise. But here's the first step. You have to say all the words, have to read all the words. Do not just skip down to the bottom. All right. All right. Everybody understand that? Great. Okay. That is your work for today, um, your language and phonics. I think you guys are really going to enjoy that. Um, I'm excited for you to see what, 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 what creativity you come up with in terms of the verbs and things you're doing today. Hope it's a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.